friends, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you are returning, welcome back. Um, if this is your first time here, hi, I'm Jessie. I post budgeting and lifestyle content here on my channel. Um, grocery hauls, vlogs, obviously budget check-ins, which is what you're here for today. So if any of those topics interest you, I'd encourage you to click that subscribe button um, so that you can, you know, be notified whenever I post a new video. For today's video, we're going to be talking about week one in November. I am going to track all of my expenses with you all here today. And we're going to take a look at everything I spent. I'm going to use that information to then check in with my overall monthly budget, see if we're on track. We're going to figure out how much I spent in variable spending. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, just keep watching. Okay, so full disclosure, it is actually Thursday morning when I'm filming this on the day that it's going up. I always plan to film my budget check-ins on Tuesday morning right as the week has kind of wrapped up. Our new week starts on Tuesday since that's my husband's payday. Um, this week it just got away from me. I didn't get a chance to film, so... Um, when I go into like my cash envelopes and things, you're going to see I've already started spending for week two. That might make things a little bit confusing, but we're going to kind of figure it out as we go. Also, I'm in my pajamas still on Thursday morning. Um, like I said, just kind of trying to play catch up a little bit. So yeah, we're going to drink some coffee. We're going to crunch some numbers and I appreciate you keeping me company while I do. So we are going to be tracking for the week of November 1st through the 7th. Um, so the very first week of the month, we're going to be doing variable spending here in this weekly section. If you've never seen one of my videos before, or never seen this two page worksheet spread here, this is what I call my hybrid budget worksheet bundle. It's a set of two worksheets and I call it a hybrid budget because you can budget things out monthly, but you also have these sections here for weekly check-ins where you can um, break down your overall monthly budget by week. For myself, I just do my variable spending week to week, but you could certainly um, break everything down, like write in the bills you paid for the week, um, as well as any variable spending. For myself, things like bills that come out just once a month, I just let them be in this monthly section and I check in with them that way. But really, you can do it any way you want. Personal finance is personal and there's no wrong way to use a budget worksheet. That's just how I use mine. Um, so there's a section here to track income monthly expenses. So here I track my bills and my overall budget for variable spending. Um, there's a section for five weeks. So no matter how long or short the month is, you have space to break it down weekly. There's a section here for sinking funds. If you uh, keep track of things that way, there's also a section here for savings and for debt payments. So really it's overall everything you need for your month at a glance in one two-page spread. It's available in my Etsy shop. This particular one is in my Harvest collection. That's just the name of this pattern that you see here. Um, I have whole big bundles of worksheets available. This, if you want to keep it simple, is everything you need, but I also have a ton of um, other worksheets in the same pattern so you can match or you can mix and match. I've got lots of other patterns as well. I'm going to link my Etsy shop down below if you'd like to um, 
you know, take a gander over there and look at all the different patterns and worksheets I have available. There's something for everyone there and I do offer 15% off to all of my YouTube friends here by using the coupon code YTFriend. So if you are a little bit behind in planning your November budget or if you're looking um, forward to December budgeting, I've got worksheets for you. I will have December new releases. That is a brand new pattern. There's a little sneak peek coming at the end of this week. So that's enough of my little sales pitch. Let's go ahead and talk about our spending for the week. So I like to use a new expense tracker for every week of the month. It's just how I like to do it. I don't necessarily worry about how much is in my account and worry about starting balances and ending balances. Really, I just use this to keep track of my weekly spending. So we're gonna do that together today. I'm gonna go ahead right here on the top of this worksheet and mark those dates again so that I know this was the first through the seventh. And we're gonna talk about all of the spending I did in that first week of November. Okay, so the first week of the month is always very bill heavy, so that's kind of where we're gonna get started here. On the first, I paid my lot rent. And I always like to categorize each of my transactions, um, whether it be a bill, a debt, or my various variable categories like food, um, food and household, uh, that sort of thing. So this particular transaction is a bill. It's something that will be here long term. And the amount that I paid was $553. Also on the first, I paid my water bill. So once again, that's categorized as a bill. And the amount there was $34.05. Um, cable came out on the first. Also a bill. And that amount was $69. We had our camper payment that I paid. That is categorized as a debt because that's something that at some point we will pay off and it will no longer be part of our budget. We're still a ways away from that, but even so, someday, uh, that was $200. Um, let's see, we also made a golf cart payment on the first, which is also a debt, something that will someday be paid off. Not today, unfortunately. Uh, and that amount was $150. Um, let's see, what else? We had HBO Max. Which is a bill. And that amount was $15.81. I made my Boost Mobile payment, which is our phone bill for three, or I'm sorry, four lines of unlimited talk, text, and data. We pay $120. I love Boost Mobile. We made a DTE payment. Like I said, lots and lots of bills. Um, the vast majority of my bills come out the first week of the month, and then I have a few others that are just kind of sprinkled throughout the month. For DTE, Category is bills. My handwriting is very sloppy and all over the place today. And that amount was $203. Let's see, what else? I believe everything else was variable. And we're doing things a little bit different this week because I did all of my variable spending in cash and I have tracked everything here in this new worksheet. This is an envelope tracking worksheet, um, and this is actually just a prototype. I don't have this available in my Etsy shop yet. 
but I have kind of redesigned it and will be releasing it to match my December collection. So be on the lookout for that. Um, you can see here, or maybe you can see, it's kind of small, which is why I reformatted it. Um, I filled each of my cash envelopes, and that is the starting balance, at the very beginning of the week. And then I went through and as I made purchases using those transactions, or using those cash envelopes rather, um, I wrote it down on the worksheet. I have already stuffed my envelopes for week two. As I mentioned, I am a little late in filming this, so it might make it a little bit confusing to follow, but I mean, as long as I look at the dates, it should be fine. Um, so this is where I can really figure out my spending. I'm not going to track it again individually, but I am just going to get a quick total for my spending for each of these categories, and I will write that down on my expense tracker. So I'm going to pull in my little low-cost calculator here, and we're going to look at how much I spent overall for food and household during week one. So on the first, I had a Walmart transaction. That was my the bulk of my grocery shopping. I spent $225.00. Again, hopefully you can see this. And then on the second, the kind of last food transaction for the week, um, I went to a winery and bought some wine, and that was $21. So I spent a total for food and household of $246. So I'm just going to go ahead and flip back to my little expense tracker. And actually, I think I'll probably pull this out just so I can reference it all at the same time. And we'll just write in, I'm not going to put in a date. It's my first time doing it this way. Um, so I apologize if it's a little clunky for food and household. Um, I guess I don't really need the transaction so much as it's the category for food and household. Um, we spent, what did I say? Oh, $246. So yeah, this is a little awkward. Um, so my first time using a, an expense tracker as well as this tracker might seem a little bit redundant to write it down here and then also write it down here, but we'll see. So um, for gas, we spent during that first week, like I said, I've already cash stuffed for week two. So that's why um, this might seem a little confusing. I could go into my cash envelopes and show you the cash, but like I said, I've already started spending for week two, so I don't know. We'll see. Um, regardless, I spent $36 on gas this week. For my spending, I spent a full $40. Um, and then also I gave Austin his $125 and I gave Eric his $60. Really, do I need to write this down on my expense tracker? I guess I really don't. Because like I said, it's it's redundant to write it down twice. So I guess my expense tracker is just going to be for like bills, debts, and anything unbudgeted. I don't really need these other um, line items because I can just reference that envelope tracker when I'm filling in my overall budget. So we're just going to erase this. That also means that I don't need to do a ton of highlighting. Typically, all of these various transactions would get written down in my expense tracker. I would go down the line and highlight things um, in various colors to keep track of everything and make it really easy on myself, but I've already kind of made it really easy on myself by using cash. So I guess what I will do is just highlight blue for bills, and orange, this orangey color for debt, even though really I don't need to. It'll just be nice to kind of highlight as I go so I don't miss anything as I'm adding it up. So for bills for week one, that was all of my transactions, by the way. We paid all our bills the first week of the month. We had just a few transactions in our cash categories, but really we didn't spend a ton of money. Um, outside of like bills. So we had 
553 plus 3405 plus 69 plus 1581 plus 120 plus 203. So for bills, we spent 994.86. So that's bills. It seems very weird just to have a couple of categories on here. Might have to kind of think about whether I want to continue to use an expense tracker each week or if I want to do something different. Um, we'll have to see. For debt payments though, wow, did you see that? That was terrible highlighting. I have the world's shakiest hands. So we paid 200 plus 150. We know that's 350. I don't know why I felt the need to put that into the calculator, but I did. So that was our debt payments for the week. And overall, even though I don't really need to know the total, I just feel like, I don't know, I need to do something else on this page. 13.44.86 and kind of fixed expenses for the week and then we have variable expenses here. So I'm going to take the information from my expense tracker as well as from this envelope tracker and use it to fill in my two-page hybrid budget here. So um, I'm going to pull this out so I can reference it without flipping back and forth and we're going to take a look at my monthly budget section here and fill in the actual columns. So I already know my bills are in blue. Lot rent, we paid 553, which is just what I budgeted. So I'm just kind of filling in the actual column here. Um, for water, we paid 3405. We budgeted 50, so that's good to go. We are under budget there. Cable, we paid 69 of the 70 we budgeted. For HBO Max, it was 1581 of 16. Boost, we budgeted 120, we paid 120. And DTE, this is the final bill we paid this week. We budgeted 203, we paid 203. So we're good to go there. Now, let's talk about the variable expenses. Like I said, with using cash for most everything, we did very little spending, as you can see. Um, the, all of the transactions listed here are for, you know, week one and part of week two. So you can see it's very few um, transactions. So we're going to go ahead and write in the categories here. So we have food and household. We have gas. We have my spending. My husband's spending, this is a different order than I typically do things, but that's okay. We have Austin, we have miscellaneous, and we have unbudgeted. Those are the categories that I track for variable um, each week. So we've already kind of done this for food and household. I added things up. We spent 225 plus 21, that's 246. So that meant when I stuffed my envelope at the start of week two, which typically I would do in this video, but I'm behind, so I've already done the cash stuffing kind of off camera. Um, I had $4 left in my envelope. I stuffed 250 more, that gave me 254. You can see I've already shopped for week two, so there's a little sneak peek of that. Um, so we spent 246 of our overall monthly budget, which if you look here is $12.50. So if I take $12.50 and I subtract the $2.46 we spent this week, we have $1,004 remaining in our grocery budget. We have four more weeks in the month. Um, we do our grocery shopping on Tuesday. There are five Tuesdays in November. So if I divide what's left, this $1,004 by four, we have about $2.51 a week remaining and that's kind of right on par with what I've sort of set 
my weekly budget. It's an overall monthly budget, so if I spend more than $250 a week, it's still okay as long as I come in under budget overall. But in order to keep myself on track, I've sort of set in my mind a weekly budget of $250, and we are right on track with that. So we're good to go there for gas. I had just one gas transaction this week. As you can see here, I put $36 in my gas tank on the first. Um, our budget for gas overall for the month is $300. And if we subtract $36, that leaves me with 264 left in my overall gas budget. Divide that by four more weeks, and that means we have $66 a week. As you can see here in my little starting balance section, I have had planned to give myself $60 each week, so we are definitely on track to stick to our budget overall there. Now we have my spending money. So, for my spending money, I gave myself $40 this week, and I did spend that, so I spent $40. Um, I have an overall spending line item here. That's for myself, my husband, and my youngest son's allowance, kind of all bunched up into one. But for my personal spending, it's $40 a week times five weeks, 200 minus 40 I still have 160 left. We always stick to our spending budget for the most part. We do that in cash. We've always done that in cash. And that really helps us to stick to it. So, you know, I don't anticipate we will ever really go over budget in spending. Um, but, you know, it's a line item, so I track it here. Much the same as my husband. So I planned to give him $60 this week, and I did. 60 times 5. 300 minus the 60. He's got 240 left. So there's that. Now for Austin, my youngest son, um, I actually gave him his entire month's allowance all at once. So rather than breaking it down and giving him $25 each week, I just gave him the full 125 all at once. That's what I've been doing lately. He likes that. Um, it allows him to have a larger quantity of money all at once, which he appreciates. Um, he does most, honestly, he mostly just saves all his money. But even so, I gave him the full 125 so he will have nothing remaining for the rest of the month. For miscellaneous, here you can see that I stuffed $40.00. But we didn't use it. We didn't need to use any miscellaneous money. So I'm just going to say that we spent nothing and we still have that full $200. So it's been pulled out of my bank account. It's in cash, but I still have it. So that's how I'm going to um, handle that type of situation. Like, for example, we spent 246 of our food budget. We had pulled a total of 250 out but I want to track it this way because at the end of the month if we have any kind of cash left over I plan on making a debt payment with that so I want to keep track of exactly what we've spent and then whatever cash we have left at the end of the month I will put on a different um, kind of line item in our budget hopefully that makes sense so for unbudgeted we had nothing we stuck to all of our situations this week um we didn't have anything kind of unplanned so we're good to go there so how much did we spend overall in variable spending 507 dollars we still have quite a bit of money remaining we stuck to our kind of weekly goals we are on track. It feels really good. It was very easy to stick to everything with having cash. Um, we still have 1868 remaining overall. And the reason that I do a total is because for my variable spending here, I have these five categories. Um, and I have specific goals, a specific budget for each of these categories. But if I were to, say, spend more in gas 
but I spent less in food and household and they sort of balance each other out, I'm okay with that. So while I know that I still have $1,004 remaining in my food and household budget and I have $264 in gas, if I were to spend $268 in gas and $1,000 in food, I would still be okay with that. So I like to look at the individual categories, but I like to look at the amount overall as well. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Okay, so we're done with this guy. This is all on track. I could, sh like I said, I could show you the cash, but it's not going to be accurate because I've already started spending for week two. So just trust me on this. Um, you know, we're good to go. The cash is really, really helping. I highly recommend if you don't use cash on a regular basis for your variable spending, uh, try it because it really helps me at least to stay on track. Okay, one more thing that we're gonna do here is flip, what is this? Oh, the other half is here. So we're gonna kinda have to flip back and forth. I didn't think of this. Um, just for debt. So my camper payment, I made a $200 payment. For golf cart, I made a $150 payment. So we're gonna go ahead and just put the actual amounts here. So for camper, we budgeted 200, we spent 200. For golf cart, we budgeted 150, we spent 150. Okay. So that's it then um, for my budget check-in. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but if I am, it'll have to show up in next week's check-in. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how are you doing for the first week of November. Did you do really well? Are you already starting to struggle with your budget? It's a tough time of year to budget for sure with the holidays coming up. But I would love to hear from you how you're doing so far this month. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, will you please give it a thumbs up? That really helps out my channel. If you haven't already, I'd love it if you would consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, like I said, I post new budgeting and lifestyle content here on my channel every week. I've got Vlogmas coming up soon. Um, so that's something to look forward to. I'd really love to have you here um, as a, you know, a friend here on my channel. Um, so hit the subscribe button. Don't forget, you can also click the little bell to be notified every time I post a new video. My upload schedule is a little wonky right now, so that would be um, beneficial to you. Uh, that's it for my spiel, so thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!